Did you know Oceanside had a menorah lighting ceremony? Well, today, we're here at the Oceanside Civic Center celebrating the second annual menorah lighting ceremony. Why place the menorah here in the Civic Center? This is a beautiful question. If you look around the world, we have in the Kremlin, we have in, in the White House, we have all over the world, we have this menorah public out in the center of town. Why is that? The fact to bring the beauty of this holiday and to bring the beauty of light and bringing light to people, not only when you're in the house, next to your family, it's also outside that people around you realize that this is a beautiful holiday, not only because it's happened 2,000 years ago, it's something that continuously being nice till today by bringing light to other people, smile, helping other people, and so on. So when you do it in front of the city hall, when everybody around the same menorah, this shows the unity that there is in the community, in the, in, especially in Oceanside, in the, in the city of Oceanside. I'm thrilled to see the city come together for a couple of reasons. You see the city changing in many ways. Number one, economic development. The city's booming as a community. We see that also as a very culturally diverse community in every way. And I think this is one more way to say, hey, we're really all together, even though we might have different faiths or a menorah is different from a Christmas tree. We're all together for this and we're celebrating in our own ways. And I think it's wonderful. And uh, I'm here today actually to watch the mayor light a menorah, which is, uh, I think a unique event for Oceanside, and I think it's really great to see that uh, Abad that's putting this on has uh, got his menorah and has got it up, and it's really a, an exciting day for uh, Jews in Oceanside. The ceremony was not only fun and educational, but also provided a chance for community members to come together for an illuminating evening of celebration. This is a very, a very unique celebration that we do here. Almost every year, it's already four years that we do it, and this is a way of, for us to build the, the community, the Jewish community in Oceanside, bigger and stronger. One of the ways is by, bringing, by making the, the party here in, in, the city, in the Civic Center that many people who are afraid or not affiliated or any other reason who don't ever walk into a synagogue will come in, will join together with the same heritage that they both they share with other people and they found out that there is many other Jews together with them live here in the same city and they could really be united with other people. And this is very special to me because my job here is to build and create the Jewish community and together with this to help every person as much as I could. And here this is an opportunity for me to meet more and more people that I didn't meet before. This menorah here it started three years ago when I walked into the city hall, to the offices up there, and I left a message for the city manager. At this time, it was Steve Jepson, and I asked. I left a simple question: Do you have beautiful uh, uh, decorations for the holidays? Beautiful trees, Christmas trees, and, and on. And I said, Would you mind to have also a menorah? A week later, I get a phone call from Steve Jepson, the city manager, and he said, I checked with the, with the city attorney before I called you, and now I'm calling you after talking to everybody, and everybody has agreed that it's a beautiful thing, and let's put it on. I was handed some uh, drawings, which they, everyone kept on telling me they were blueprints, and, uh, but they were just someone's uh, idea of what they wanted, and so I kind of ran with that. Um, after a while, we were having trouble finding the metal that uh, the rabbi wanted made it out of. He was hoping to make that aluminum to make it lighter, um, and that wasn't possible. So um, the Chabad in uh, Poway had uh, knew a guy that was able to donate the uh, metal to us for both menorahs, and uh, in, in return, we helped them build their menorah. So that's what started all, which was about three weeks ago, and it just turned into this crazy uh, like every single second I had to start putting this menorah together I was cutting metal for two and a guy in Poway uh, welded his own. The menorah itself actually just tips over on a center uh, candle just over 15 feet. Um, it breaks up into um, about six different pieces and um, it, it was really uh, it was just a lot of stress and trying to make things just happen make it look uh, really pretty. 
but uh, it, it came out really nice. I've been really happy with it. The menorah is a very significant icon in the Jewish community. Rabbi Greenberg tells us the miracle behind the menorah. The story, the meaning behind the menorah is that you have to look on the story. The story happened about 2,000 years ago when the Jewish people in Israel, they had a temple and they had Jewish life in Israel and the Greeks, Syrian Greeks, came in and took over Israel. They rule, they rule over Israel. When they took over, they decided to force the Jews to stop doing and stop serving God the way they believe and they forced them to worship idols, they forced them to do things that they don't believe in. The miracle is that they win, they won this uh, Syrian Greek army in many places until they came to the temple. When they came to the temple, they wanted to rededicate the temple, to use the temple and to serve the, the temple, in the temple, the way that it was supposed to be. They wanted to light the menorah, that it's in the temple and they looked for oil. Now at this time, the Greeks made sure that there is no oil, good oil in the temple that they could use for the menorah. So they looked until they found a very small jar of oil sealed with the signature of the high priest. And they put it down into the menorah. And this amount of oil was supposed to be enough only for one day. The miracle happened that it was, it was enough for eight days until they were able to bring new oil in. And in case you're wondering what the children thought about the event. It beats doing homework. Yeah, definitely. It beats going to school. I can definitely say this year's ceremony will not be forgotten. Fun, food, family makes for nothing but a great event. For KOCT, I'm Brandon McCray.